out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our minds for crime. Much if you really, really wanna stop crime. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when the streets. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause someone's always beeping by the fender. Still crime. Much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. And we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our minds. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back. Top of the evening to you. All those of you who are locked on online, a special good evening to you. All those of you who are looking at us from all over the world, a special good evening to you. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, our YouTube is presently under um, with, um, some upgrades and whatnot, so you can go to ianallen.org. We've been posting that every day. We've been telling you, go to ianallen.org, and where you can see Crime Watch. You understand? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very, very eventful eventful weekend, a very, very eventful weekend, even losing one of our uh, national icons, um, Anil Beam, very, very sad. We're going to talk about that during the, during the course of the show, but that has rocked the nation. And, you know, I tell you this here, as, uh, as persons in, 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 in the public eyes, persons he perform on, on a stage, you know, he's saying he, he does well on, on, on our side. So it's, it's very hard. It's sad because... I mean, we can kind of relate that, you know, being popular and whatnot, and it's just like this guy went to perform, and, and after that, that's it. it ne you, you, you never know. You just never, never know. And I was, just, I, you know, I made a little video on, on TikTok. I was at my sister's house, and, you know, just made a video, and it was just telling you when I met him. I, think I, 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 I met him at, um, the last time at, TNT Limus Club. I don't have any pictures. I don't have any pictures, but I know may, maybe there are persons in the crowd that took out photographs. If you have any with him, and I, you know, I'll be, you know, please send it to me. But I, I know there were persons took taking out photos while I was chatting with him, and um, I walked downstairs and I asked him. I said, um, uh, you you know, can I get a photograph with you? And he started to laugh. He really started to laugh, and I was like, boy, he said. I want a photograph, you want a photograph with me, I don't think I'm a photograph with you. I'm just, you know, just, I was just telling him that, you know, he, he's an amazing guy, he can, you know, he can really perform, and, but something he, something he did, yeah, something he did, and boy, I, I, it just kind of had me a little sad, is that when I was leaving, he was seated at the bar, just at the bar, and after his performance, and I was walking out, and he said, you don't want to take a drink? I said, nah, good, I'm good, I, 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 you know, busting out, as they say. And he said, you sure? I said, yeah. He said, come now, man, open. And I'm like, you know, I don't go out of running, I'm running. And I, I, you know, you just can't imagine that that was the very, that, you know, that would have been the very last time. And, you know, and as I tell persons that, that he left, he left this, he sent down the curtain, he pulled the curtain to his career. He pulled down the curtain, he pulled the curtain down. But he pulled the curtain down on a hype. He pulled the curtain down while he had sold all crowds, while he had, while, while he had bookings all over Carnival. He had all kind of bookings. Because just yesterday, I was, you know, I was driving and just playing with my radio. And just at that, an ad pop up telling you about a party and special guest appearance by the Beamer. And, this, and I was like, you know, really, really sad, really, really sad. So. You know, and he asked me, I think that he should have given a, well, I saw they, 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 they pushed the funeral to, to Thursday. So I, I, I don't, I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't know what kind of, you know, role the government, the Ministry of Culture will play and whatnot, but he deserves a good send-off. He deserves a good send-off. He really, really deserves a, a, a send-off. I mean, similar to that of, you know, Black Stalin and them, you know, he deserves a, a proper, proper send-off. Because, I mean, I'll talk about, I'll talk about him, the late Arnold Beam, during the course of my show, but we'll talk and take some calls and whatnot. And I couldn't believe, I, you know, I really couldn't believe that all those songs, all those film songs, and, 
You know what he did? He all those old all those songs that people grew up with with your grandmother and all those old time songs and whatnot, maybe decades ago, decades and decades ago, he would take it back, he'll bring it to the front burner, put beat, he'll put music, he'll put, you know, he understand, he, he understand this era, he understand it well, and he understand what, what can really catch, you know, what will catch people. And that's why a lot, a lot of young people can relate to him. He has a lot of great young people following here that, you know, because they like, how they, and, they, and because of him, he, you know, I mean, they will, they know the songs word for word, word for word, oh, those old songs, those old film songs and whatnot, but I can't believe that some of the songs somebody was playing for me. In fact, I was at a birthday party on, um, in fact, yesterday, and I couldn't believe that person was just going through the phone and telling me, hey, he sang this song he sang. I was like, he sang that song? He said, he put back that song. I was like, wow, I can't believe it. I couldn't believe that. I mean, it's, it's really something else. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, so let's just start. Um, the murder toll is now 70. It's now 70. It is the 6th of February. The 6th of February, the murder toll is now 70. I saw a video a while ago, and I sent it on the group where, uh, where a teacher waiting for his son, waiting for his son after karate lesson. My bandit come and put all the man out to the car, yes? Crazy, now. It's, it's, it's on the group. I want to run with that. The murder toll, ladies and gentlemen, now stands at 70 for the year thus far after four murders were recorded on, on Sunday. Four murders were recorded on Sunday, the 6th of February. 61 persons were murdered in the month of January, while nine persons were murdered in the month of February. So now you understand it, yeah? And if anybody asks you, let them know how many people were murdered in, 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 in January. 61 persons. 61 persons. Nine persons were murdered in February. Um, the nine murders of, uh, for February happened in the following communities. I like they've just given you a proper breakdown. Further understand, those of you who live abroad and just want to keep it, you know, in, in, you know, inclined to all, our, you know, all the development with crime and, and other issues. I try my best. Uh, in Carnage, we had, for, now I'm telling you just for February, in Carnage, we had one, Laventil two, Penal one, in Kokori two, in Rio Claro two, and, in, and two in Mova. In Northern Division has accounted for the most murders for the year thus far with 25 of the 70 murders, which include 10 double murders and three triple murders. Of the, ten, of the 10 double murders, four occurred in the Northern Division. There was one in the Southern Division and two in the Northeastern Division, and one in Eastern Division, one in Port of Spain Division, and one within the Central Division. Out of the 70 murders recorded for the year thus far, 63 were committed with the use of firearm. Again, out of the 70 murders that occurred for the year thus far, so the murder toll is 70. It is 70. Out of 70, out of 70, 63 were committed with the use of fire. Two victims were beaten, two were chopped, one was stabbed, two deaths have not been classified pending. Two deaths have not been classified as, mur as murder. They haven't been classified pending post-mortems. Four females, including including six, a six-year-old girl were among the victims murdered. The following is a breakdown of divisions. Northern Division 25, um, Central Division. Do we have that graph or anything? Yeah. Northeastern Division 10, Western Division 7, so Southern Division 4, Eastern Division 5, Port of Spain 4, Southwestern Division 2, Tobago 0, and to a total of 70. That's where we get the 70 now. One fatal stabbing in Northeastern Division was sent for a, cor a coroner's inquest by the DPP. Let's start with Sunday. Two men were gunned down at McShine Lands in Laventil on Sunday. So we had a double murder. Two men were gunned down at McShine Lands in, in Laventil on Sunday. The deceased victims were identified as 63-year-old Keston Alvin Harvey and 33-year-old Clinton Dubari, both of McShine Lands, Laventil. Around 9 945, P.C. Williams and P.C. Adams were on duty when they heard several loud explosions in the McShine Land area and went to investigate. Upon their arrival, they discovered both victims lying motionless on the roadway, covered in gunshot injuries. Both men were pronounced dead at the scene and officers were able to recover 15 spent shells and one live wrong of 5.56 ammunition. Again, two men were gone down at McShine Lands in Laventil on Sunday. The deceased victims were identified as 36-year-old Keston Alvin Harvey and 33-year-old Clinton Dubari, both of McShine Lands, 
Laventel. Around 945, PC Williams and PC Adams were on duty when they heard several loud explosions in the Max in the Markshine Lands area and went to investigate. Both men were pronounced dead at the scene. Officers were able to recover 15 spent shells and one live wrong. As you can see, photograph of the men. Look, somebody had set on the ground and all too. Craziness, just craziness, boy. Just, just craziness. Just craziness. Also, in, you know, this is the third, this is the third double murder, yeah? This is the third double murder for the year. The third double murder. And we, we are only, we are only, this is in fact not, not for the year. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third double murder for February. The third double murder for February. Imagine six days gone in February, and we, are, we already have three double murders. Unbelievable, huh? Un unbelievable. And, and I tell you this to them. I tell you this. I tell you this today that, that I, once we get information, I delimit it now. Once we get information, once we get information, I am delimited. Once you send us information, we're going to deal with it. No games. No games at all. On, now, the third double murder for February. On Wednesday, the 1st of February, 18-year-old Kendall Joseph Francis and his brother-in-law, Marlon Clark of Ennett Village, where Clara was shot dead at Oliver Trace, Cooch Village, Beach. So that was the first double murder for February. Remember, we had three double murders for February. Yeah? On Thursday the 2nd, Cody Robley of Concession Drive Sealots and 35-year-old Dwayne Dangler, a.k.a. Home Alone, of near, uh, nearby Ch Chinapu Road in Mova, and Sealots were shot and killed at Crown Trace off Laventel Road. That was the second double murder. Second double murder for February, and now you have this double murder in McShine, Mark Shine lands in Laventil on Sunday the 6th, claiming the life of 36-year-old Keston Alvin Harvey and 33-year-old Clinton Dubari, both of Mark Shine lands, Laventil. Also, as we continue, as we... For those of you who don't know where Mark Shine lands, located in Port of Spain, that is behind the old... Um, Desperado Spaniard. And do you know, they're speaking about Pan. I went, in fact, on Sunday. And you get the CG up for me, please. I, on Saturday, Saturday, I went with I, I, uh, Professor Hubert Daisley. And I remember I told you it was Saturday was his birthday. So we had a, just drinks and a little, a little fast bite at the, at the Hyatt. And, you know, and um, we took, a, we just went across the, we went across to some panting and it was real vibes, real vibes, real vibes. I'll show you during the course of the show that real vibes, boy, real vibes. People are real into pan in this country. Which is good, which is good, which is good, which is good, which is good. It was nice. Also, a man was shot and killed two houses away from the Carnage Police Station on Sunday, the 5th of February. The deceased, the deceased has been identified as 39 year old Daryl Nikki, also known as Psycho, of Mount Pleasant Carnage. Around 9 p.m., Nikki was liming along the Western Main Road in Carnage in the company of two other men when a heavily tinted silver wagon approached. The occupants of the vehicle lowered the front and back windows and opened fire, hitting Nikki several times about the body before fleeing the scene. So there was a man who was shot near the two houses away, two houses away from the Carnage Police, Carnage, the Carnage Police Station. Now just imagine, two houses away, ladies and gentlemen. Two houses away you now. Now I tell you, two houses away you now. That's what I tell you, you know. People up people that long time thing where people business about people business about um crowd and who's standing next door and police station and who's standing up if it are people, if they have a baby are wrong. When people come to kill you, they're killing you, you know. when people come to shoot, everybody to be extra cautious. Even as I mean, I mean carnival, you have to be cautious. No matter everybody winding and jamming and everybody watch me. You have to be alert, you have to be watching around, you have to be observing your surroundings. 
be on high alert as much as you're having drinks and having a good time and you're winding down the place i begging you watch watch they're giving you you're, you're give, they're, they're giving it they're giving it to you any day anytime anyhow in front of anybody children children in hand anybody they wouldn't mind losing 50 people to get one man you know they wouldn't mind they have a business killing 50 people and, and just to get one person you know so you know we really need to be extremely careful we, because look in carnage look in carnage this fellow get killed on sunday this boy here two houses away from carnage from the police station watch let me show you look the station right there the carnage police station right there watch and look where he get shoot two houses away two houses away watch we got right there like carnage police station The road right there. And look at right there. Look at his house right there. One house here. Right by the blue wall. The green wall, sorry. Hmm. He has been identified as Darrell Nikki, aka Psycho. The other men were able to escape unharmed. However, when they returned, they observed they observed Nikki lying motionless on the ground, covered in gunshot injuries. Nikki was pronounced dead at the scene of the shooting and homicide detectives recovered 21 uh, rungs of 5.56 spent shells and 12 rungs of 40 caliber spent shells. Like two weapons here, yeah? a 40 cal pistol and an AR-15 rifle. As we continue, ladies and gentlemen, remember, 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 as we continue our Facebook is currently being upgraded. Sorry, our YouTube. And some of you have been complaining. We've been saying from day one, if there is no YouTube, just go to ianallen.org. If you can't see us on Facebook, go to ianallen.org. That's all. We've been saying that every day. We've been saying that. And Right? And... So you can look at Crime Watch. So the, 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 the different plat platforms. And also, as you know, we have started back to go live during the course of the day. So let's say, say you have a business and you want to go live. You want to say, well, hey, I want to I wanna go. I want to do a half an hour live with you. I want to do a half an hour just to blow it up, just to, to boost me up for my business. You know, the best time to boost your business is when nobody knows about you. When nobody knows about you. When nobody knows about you. Yeah, the best time. In fact, I saw this, this car company from, 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 um, yeah, from Chase Village. They're, now, they're, they're advertising HSM marketing company. They carry the widest variety of cars in Trinidad and Tobago with one, and the number one vehicle showroom experience. And see, brilliant people, people know what's going on. So HSM is on board with us. Just to let you know, as we continue, the decomposed body was found shot. A decomposed body was found shot to death in Penal on Sunday the fifth, around 6:50 p p.m. PC Nanan, PC Khalil, and PC Ramuta responded to an anonymous report of a decomposed body at Jack Group Trace Rock, Trace Rock Road, Penal. Upon the arrival at the said location, they ventured approximately 50 feet along a bushy track of the roadway where they observed a body in a advanced state of decomposition the deceased was clad with in a blue jersey black short pants barefoot was found lying face down on the ground with both hands tied behind him the dmo dr vasan basdale okay i know dr vasan special hello to dr vasan you know dr vasan is a real brilliant young fella like super bright yeah Right, a young fella, young fella. You don't even, you know, you don't even know he's a DMO, but he's a young guy, but really bright boy, really intelligent fella. So we want to say a special hello to the DMO, Dr. Vasant Basdeo. Visited the scene, viewed the body, and ordered it to be removed for safekeeping pending a post mortem at the Forensic Science Center, St. James. So again, ladies and gentlemen, a decomposed body was found was Fong sh uh, shot to death, yep, they, they tied the hands and whatnot, and 
you know. Also, let, let, me, let, me, let me just continue. Another decomposed body was found inside St. Joseph River on Saturday. Around 12.15, PC Gangaram, PC Jadunanan, one mobile patrol when they received information about a body floating in St. Joseph River opposite the St. Joseph Primary School. Upon the arrival, they respond, they, the responding officers discovered the partially decomposed body floating in the river. The deceased appeared to be of African descent, 5 feet 10, to, uh, 10, dark in complexion, clad in a black pants and barefooted. The DMO visited the scene and ordered an autopsy be conducted on the body to determine the actual cause of death. This was just in the St. Joseph River. And when this man sit down there and he fall in the river, I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. These people, I don't know. You can tell them every day. Go to ianallen.org and look at the show. Look at the show. Look at the show. And it's like, wow. Huh. Wow. Oh, I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man identified as Daniel Charles, a.k.a. Bamboo, was shot and wounded. But before we go, with respect to the day, hold on, come back to me. With respect to the decomposed body found inside the St. Joseph River, um, the DMO visited the scene and ordered an autopsy be conducted on the body to determine the actual cause of death. Acting Superintendent um, 8 Etienne, Acting Inspector Turi, Woman Sergeant Rob Robinson Motley, and PC Moha uh, Mahon were among the officers who visited the scene. See, I like to give the, you know, those visiting the scene and doing their thing, some, some level of recognition, because some of you might ask, why every crime you still highlight the officers? You know, you must give them some level of recognition. Other people wouldn't do that because other people want to be, this, it's, it's all about themselves, but I like to give the, the officers and call their names and their rank and whatnot. And it goes a long way, you know, it creates that people feel confident. People like a little play. Everybody likes a little play. Everybody lo loves a little play. And people must understand that. Also, a man identified as Daniel Charles, a.k.a. Bamboo, was shot and wounded in Carnage on Friday. Charles was standing at Frisco Junction off Hague Street, Carnage, when he was approached by a gunman who opened fire on him. Charles reportedly sustained four gunshot injuries a body body and was subsequently taken to the hospital by residents to seek medical treatment. Officers believe that the shooting may have been gang-related. Gang-related, yeah, gang-related. And also, ladies and gentlemen, there's something I need to find on. I need to tell you something about this girl, Danette Pierre. When we come back, this girl, and what went on today, it's really sad. They believe that, they believe that the body that was found inside a Mazda motorcar in Clarkson Bay but I will tell you something. I will, I will, I will tell you what's going on. I will tell you what's going on. I started my little investigation with that. I wouldn't say a little investigation. I started a good investigation with it. And you won't believe what the kind of things I uncovered with respect. Just uh, be nosy. Something you have to be nosy. You have to find out. And that case could have been solved days ago. Days ago. Somebody could have checked the CCTV video to see the car that picked up the girl in St. Madeline. But it's simple, it's simple, it's simple. Well, we have to do that, the car that picked up the girl. Because I was chatting and I will tell you that this is not the first time she got hot up. This is not the first time she got hot up. When we come back, I will tell you. In fact, ladies and gentlemen... This first break, this first break is brought to you, the Pan Man in Concert story of Pan, tonight, right? 
Gable X, Gordon, how you're going? Hope you're going good. You're doing well. Car City Trading, Sokai Diesel Service, Varma Steel. Somebody tell me they want a nice, uh, they get some stuff out of call Varma and see what's going on. Also, SNS Passat Supermarket, Carnival Food Specials, uh, Chic Leisure, and U European Day Spa, Beauty Clinic, and Wellness Center. Let's take a fast break. Can't seem to find us on YouTube due to ongoing maintenance? While we upgrade your experience, you can stream us live on Facebook as well as ianallen.org. Joshua Rugello presents the Panman Concert, the story of Pan at Napa River Bowl, Monday 6 February, Grandstand Tickets 250, North Stand 300, coolers allowed in the North Stand, doors open 7pm, showtime 8pm, performances by Destra, Nyla Blackman, Nadia Batson, Ola Tunji, Viking Ding Dong, Chicken Al and more, after concert vibes with Travis World, Major Penny and DJ Elon Papi, tickets available at Fitch Street Marketplace, Offside South Park, 509, Sasha Cosmetics Outlets and online at islandetickets.com, the Panman Concert, the story of what once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plants. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. Here's another reason to advertise on Crime Watch. Over 46 million views on YouTube alone. In the last six years, an outstanding 40 million views for 2022 and on track to surpass that in 2023. In just the previous month, we have surpassed over 1 million views and over 1 million hours of watch time. Can you imagine the reach our YouTube platform will get you? Don't forget, persons will also see your business every day by watching our live program on television, on our website, our iOS and Android applications, and of course, our Facebook page that boasts over 576,000 followers. Our packages are based on viewership so that your business can get the most exposure possible. Advertise where the people are watching. Advertise where it matters on Crime Watch. Car City Trading is your number one source for high quality, new and used Korean auto parts. We are well stocked and carry a wide variety of engines, starters, compressors, alternators, power steering pumps, fans, sensors, head and tail lights, bumpers, grills, shocks, cradles, steering racks, and so much more. Let us help you improve your car's performance. Come on down to lot number 78, Bamboo number 2. Call us to get a quote at 645-2603 or WhatsApp at 704-2246. Six. Automotive is what we do. Car City Trading. Quality products. Fantastic prices. Guess who's selling his vehicle? Ian Allen himself. Ride in style with a luxurious BMW M4 Sports. Low mileage and in top condition. For more information, call 294-4081. Sokai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. In construction, time is money. Get your roofing materials at the number one supplier, Varma Steel. Shop today, collect upon purchase, or have it delivered within 24 hours. 28 gauge prepainted roofing sheets, $27 per foot. 26 gauge prepainted roofing sheets, $36 per foot. Get purlin, steel beads, high grade roofing sheets, chain link wire, decking pads, and much more at Varma Steel. Order, pay, collect, and go. It's that quick and easy. 
visit call or WhatsApp today. Spreading love all month long this Valentine's with all the savings you love. Matuk's cream style corn two for twenty dollars. Blue band butter two for twenty dollars. Caribbean choice coconut milk four for twenty dollars. Mabel's mustard two for twenty dollars. Sincere's charming noodles two for twenty dollars. Eat whole mushrooms two for twenty five dollars. Golden brand margarine three for twenty five dollars. Minute Maid pulpy liter three for twenty dollars. Downy's fresh two for thirty dollars. Feel the love like dove with one of two dove hamper. When you purchase thirty dollars in Dove products, pose for instant photos from our photo booth on Valentine's Day. Enjoy free chocolate sampling and giveaways all month long. Number nine two one High Street, Rio Claro. Number twenty four Saint Anne's, Mayaro. And number three Guaya Guaya Main Road, Mayaro. SNS Passat Supermarket. Simply better shopping. Can't seem to find us on YouTube due to ongoing maintenance. While we upgrade your experience, you can stream us live on Facebook as well as ianallen.org. She Glacial Limited, the Caribbean's largest manufacturers of plain and printed paper bags, leaders in plastic bags, vermicelli, split piece powder and greaseproof paper, ideal for doubles, french fries and sandwiches. Supplying stores nationwide. For quality products, trust She Glacial Limited, 665-3336. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, age spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Gentlemen, just to know, I know a lot of you looking at, looking at us for, from YouTube. We keep posting that here, what? Our YouTube site is currently um, being upgraded. Our, 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 our channel is being upgraded. Oh, my God. There's nothing again I can say. We keep telling everybody. And it's like, there are so many other platforms. And they will, they, you know, you won't believe. If you got a, a thousand calls, 985 is that we're not seeing you on YouTube, you know. But we keep posting it. And we don't know what to do again. <laughs> and maybe that is why, maybe that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we have, <laughs> that's why we have to, you know, you really want to, I mean, I look at this thing and it's like, <laughs> look at people watching. Look at people watching. Look at people watching. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, So far, for, for, so far, it is seventh of, it is uh, the, uh, um, February, the sixth of February. We already have one million, one million five hundred sixty-nine thousand four hundred eighty-two thousand persons in twenty twenty that watch your videos. I'm gonna say videos, not only crime watcher, not only crime watch. We're talking about the ads. Every ad that you see on crime watch. It is placed individually on YouTube. That's just one of our platforms. Remember, we have the app. We have, well, if, if YouTube is down, the app is connected to, to YouTube. So once YouTube is down, you can't see us on the app. So all those things we are upgrading right now, all those things, they are taking it to a different, a completely different level. Imagine YouTube sent us a nice little message on the analytics saying that you, your hard work have paid off, has paid off, Publishing more videos, contributing to your channel, getting more views. And this is just for January. Yeah? This is just for January. This is just for January. And uh, as you know, from, the, from November the 16th, November month to 2016 to now, we have had 46 million. 46 million. 746,343. So when you really want to go live, when you really want to go live and you really want, you really want people to see your business, you know where to go. And that's why I keep telling you, you know, there's no station in Trinidad and Tobago near program. It has nobody, it has nobody in town, nobody in town. And I was telling somebody what it was. Many years ago, a guy by the name of Faridi Mamali, he used to manage Dili Nadan. And he told me, I had, a, I had a party in Sting. I was in Win TV. Another party in Sting. And he said, Ian, what you should do, if you really want to, 
if you really want to rank, come up in town. You could, you, could, you, could, you could fall out. If you could fall out, sting in, 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 in south. And I, I mean, I was, I was now coming up and we had a nice party. I think the party should be on, 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 my, on, on YouTube and on, on Facebook and whatnot years ago. And he said, come up in tongue. And I'll never, I'll never forget that. He said, tongue is a different, a different kettle of fish. And there are a lot of people, all, a lot of people intimidated by Port of Spain. A lot of politicians and whatnot do lime in tongue because they're intimidated by tongue. There are people who are intimidated by Port of Spain, you know. And I tell you, intimidated, like intimidated by Port of Spain. That wouldn't take a chance on a Friday or a Saturday or have dinner in tongue or do whatever. No, I ain't seen no problem with South of the Carney River, you know. I never forget where I came from, South of the Carney River. I'm the, the best, I mean, the best come from South of the Carney River. But that's the, the very idea in Port of Spain. A lot of people can't relate. They can't relate. They feel intimidated. And brother, man, when I went up in town, and I hit them on six, and I started to hit them all the appearance on TV Guide, on, 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 on TV Guide and billboards and whatnot, that up to this day, up to this day, you, they can't be their ratings. Up to this day. Call them and ask them. After that, I jump on CNC3. Every day, every day, every day, Guardian. Every day, every day. Photo on Guardian. Every day. Ratings, ratings, and up to this day, go back to the history uh, of my ratings. I even, I, I, they had one time, I beat the TV6 News. Yeah, <laughs> like beat them. Beat them like, in, 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 in the survey. And I decided, just say, you know what? I make my name in town, I'm coming back right to your owners. And I went open, I don't need to open my station in town. I, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere that I'm opening a station, a television station, with my own building, it have to be important. It have to be central. It have to be centralized. I don't need to go in town and prove a point. I don't need to do that. And that's why I tell people I can go in town. I can sit down in wherever the fancy restaurant. I am never intimidated. And that's why a lot of people can't rank. Rank when you're in town. And that's why that's why I tell you, you now. Look at those figures that you are seeing here. The 46 million. The so much million a month. How much million so by so much videos run. How much they, it didn't come just like that. It came because, you know what? When you go up in town, it's different. And I understood that. And that's why up to this day, up to this day, I always tell people, I never forgot what Farid Imamli said to me. Come up in town. There are a lot of people who might go in town to have a panic. There are a lot of people that they, they can't connect, which is bad, which is bad. You don't understand. I can move in every, in every square foot of this country, you know. I can, I can, because I remember, I remember, in 2013 or 14, I was going and buy an apartment in one of the towers. Yeah, I went, I went, I checked, I went, I think um, there were nice, some nice town houses in Digo Martin, in Digo Martin area. Really impressive. But you see, you see me, I, li I, I like to cook behind my house, all kind of thing, and I like to, I like duck and all kind of thing, I like, I, I like big lime, and I like, I like them kind of thing, you know, music playing, I can't play the music. Then I, I went to visit, I visit one of the towers, I said, a nice apartment, it was running like for 2.5. To in those days, 2.5, 3.5 was some of a friend of mine was getting me for 3.2. I said, yeah, ain't bad, yeah, ain't bad. All them are now move across the CNC tree. And I said, see me? I come in right to Shagonas. And I decided I come back straight to Shagonas because I had nothing to, to, I had nothing to prove in town again. And up to this day, I had nothing to prove. I could go into Adams. I want to see a special to Adams. We said, the, uh, what day I was by Adams, and I mean, he treated me well, Adams, in Marival. And they all know me. But that's why you never forget where, you know, I say I come back to Shagonas. So I no need to go to Port of Spain. But there are plenty of people. So the people can't relate. They can't, they, they can't connect. They can't connect. They can't connect. I need to tell you something. And this is my, this is what, what I'm going to tell you here is what I know. What I know. And they're saying that this is the body of Danet Pierre, the young girl who had gone missing. The body that was found burnt inside a Mazda motor car in Clarkson Bay is believed to be 31-year-old Danette Pierre, who had been missing since she left her home on Saturday, the 28th, uh, the 28th of January. The thought arose after investigators at Coover Police Station showed images of jewelry covered next to the charred remains to Danette's relative, who positively identified it to be hers. 
DNA samples expected to be obtained from her relative today. It was taken today, which will be sent to United Kingdom, along with sample from her burnt remains. And, you know, let me tell you something, eh? We all seen the biggest, the, the, big, the, the biggest show on the earth. We all seen the biggest show. We spent $89 million in, in to fix our stadium. And you telling me, it's like, this is still, we, we, we still colonial, we, you know? You telling me I had to send sample here, but why we can't build our own thing and send persons, maybe from the police service, the army or whoever, and so send persons to specialize and, who, and create a whole new lab here. We could have done that and the, and the people from the Caribbean, different islands and whatnot, could send a sample right here and we could charge them. Boy, I tell you, we don't think, we don't think out of the box. We don't think out of the box. We don't think out of the box. And that's why I tell people, where I thinking out of the box has positioned me to where I am today. Thinking out of the box. Thinking that, here what's going on? Are you not a little financial going on? No. You have to think out of the box. And you know, that's why a lot of people are always fearful. And even yesterday I was chatting with Jared Ramdin. Well, I want to say a happy birthday, a happy belated birthday to his mom, yeah? Yes, it was his mom, Buddha, Jatani, Jared Ramdin's mom, and I didn't get a photograph of her, I don't know. So maybe one of them could send it, could send it to me, but happy belated birthday to Mr. Ramdin's mother. And um, sometimes you just have to know. You have to, you understand? You have to know this thing. You just have to know this thing, boy. You have to know this thing. I want to tell you about this girl, what I found out. Pierre, the mother of three, was reported, she's 31 years old, and she's the mother of three, was reported lured to her death by someone known to her after she hustled out of her home, telling her mother she was making a turn. Later, but she left her bag, she left her ID, she left everything. And you have to understand that she left every single thing, and she, she, she left it, she left. She left. Later that day, later that day, PC Harry Prasad and PC Regis of, Regis of Debe Harry Patrol were on mobile patrol along the South Bong Lane, of the Solomon Hotel when they received information from a passer of a vehicle on fire at Cedar Hill Road in Clarkston Bay. After the fire extinguished, officers discovered the charred remains of a human in the back seat of the Mazda 3 motor car, which was reported stolen from Sandy Grandi Police Station, from the Sandy Grandi District, sorry. Jewelry which Dannett may have been wearing at the time was found near the remains, which ruled out robbery as the motive. Last week, a source at the Forensic Science Center in St. James disclosed an autopsy was performed on the remain, but pathologist was unable to ascertain the gender. The forensic pathologist was able, to, was able to determine that the victim was burnt alive and may have been incapitated at the time of uh, when, when, when the car was set on fire. But I will tell you something, come back to me. Hold on. Go to that photograph. Just so, just so. I'm trying to get a number here. Uh huh. Right. Police return to the scene today, you know. Yeah. Hello. 
Hello, good evening. Hi, ma'am. This is Ian Allen, and we are live on national television. Hi. Um, I don't, I, I mean, uh, I, I, I kind of lost for words. Yeah, I kind of lost. I don't, I don't know how to start my conversation with you. I just, um, I, I don't know how to start my conversation with you. Well, you we can start by, hi, what's your name? <laughs> Since you give me your name, if I say hi, what's no, your no, name? This is I Ian, I, as name. I said, this is Ian Allen from Crime Watch. But that's what I said, you gave me your <laughs> name. So you could say, because you said, hi, good evening. This, well, I don't know, I don't know, because, you know, um, the so circumstances. You can, like, you can start, start with, my name is Donna Pierre. Donna, what have you to say, you? At this point, at this point, I... Donna, he, let me ask you something. I just want my Donna, child, I just want my child, yeah. Donna, let me ask you something. I want to ask you something. Uh -huh. The car that picked uh, up this girl. I don't know. I don't know if she got picked up. Okay, Donna. If she got picked up where it was in home. Okay, the, somebody said that the, the car. But strange enough, Donna, I was doing a little investigation, right? Now, uh huh. I ain't jumping the gun, yeah? I ain't jumping the gun. That's not my race. Can I raise the volume? Now, don't take the volume. Don't take the volume. Okay. On, don't put the volume on your, on your TV. You know, I listen to the phone. I don't have no right. TV with it on, so I always right. listen to you. Right. Donna, mm -hmm. strange enough, you said you didn't give a statement about her slippers, but how come other person knew, knew she was in her slippers? All I said, she left with um, her slippers, but I don't know what type of slippers, but I saw on some posts that they have details of our slippers, and that's what make me start to look for that, that particular me, that type of slippers. I don't know who, mm -hmm. I don't know how that person could know about that because it's just my daughter, my grandchildren, and myself here. Yeah. Because are you looking at that? Because I don't know now. I know right now. Just telling you, there's no way to. This is no way to. I'm not discrediting your daughter. Don't get me wrong. But I, I know that a couple, about a month or two ago, something last year, gunmen, gunmen went to where she was staying in Glencoe and put and put and put her out and thing, because <laughs> apparently, apparently now it is alleged. It is alleged I, that she had a, maybe a, a little friendship thing with a. a a particular individual, you may, maybe you don't want to say it, but he was a scammer and he was incarcerated in prison in Guyana. Okay. Yeah, and he, he he's a kind of he's a kind of gunman thing. Like he's a gunman with him. He's a kind of you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah, a notorious individual and gunmen went, gunmen went, gunmen went arm um, donor, and here what here what they did, they called the landlord. Right, this is serious. Talk I tell you here. They hold the landlord. They put the landlord out. When they put the landlord out now, when they put the landlord out, they um they hold them and thing and and they and they, they, they put her out of the apartment. That that was right in Glencoe, you know. The, the relationship became sour with this man, and the man sent an arm out with a machine gun. Three women to to the house and she, and two no, three women and two of them shared the same house in Glencoe. And they had Mrs. Pierre removed. And that matter involving your daughter is recorded at the at the Digo Martin police station. You know about that? Yes, sir. Right. The said individual makes several threats through a mutual acquaintance of your daughter. So which means to say how he was in contact with that with with, that, with with this particular person. I don't know, but maybe the, I don't know if this particular person was giving him the S and the movement. Well, that that you know. No, I know. No, I, I don't want. I, I'm not putting this man. I'm not putting you. No, I just say. I no. I just gonna say that um that I um. I don't know, but, you know, I don't know. No, I, I know you don't so know, I know you don't know, so I, I, yeah. I just tell you, I just tell you what, what I, I know. I know you're telling me what Because on Saturday, know, yes. the Saturday she went missing, she received a call from someone, 
No one right. to her. She got up, she showered, she changed in her pre-washed jeans, a, a yes. white t-shirt and a denim jacket, rushed out the house saying yes. she was going to make a turn. She left yes. her purse with all her ID behind. So yes. if now the police really wanted to solve this, because she left just a couple, a, a little way from right, close to the St. Martin police station, but she had to pass yes. by, the, by the Baptist church here, with all the time see the big CCTV cameras and whatnot, that exact time, you could have seen that car picking her up or passing, or maybe you could have gotten a number plate. You understand? Yes, I understand what you're saying. They could have gotten a number plate. Because I remember on the 29th of January, when you described her attire, you never gave the information about the slippers to the police. How come no. that certain individual was able to give the slippers and to give all the brand name and everything? There's a bigger picture, you know. Yes. This is a bigger picture. I know today they, they came and they, they took DNA samples from you? Yes, they did. Yeah. So I tell you, I tell, I tell you I'm well informed. So I pay, I pay real attention there because I want to know, I really want to know what went on. I want to know well, what went on. Well, well, you you and me both. I really want to know what went on. Yeah. So still, still, but they confirmed that the girl, that that, that is your daughter from, from the car today? No. They can't no, confirm they, it here because... They never, they never told me anything They can't like confirm that. because I know think, DNA samples was only taken from it. you today. So it have yes, to be sent yes. to London yesterday or today. Yeah. And what about the jewelry? Uh huh. Well, I am not a jewelry person, right? But you see the jewelry? But I am, no. I. Any other relatives saw the images of the jewelry? I don't know. I don't know. Because I only could answer you based on what. When, when they came now, what happened is that. My first statement was made in St. Martin Police Station, okay? Uh. Right. And they said, um, they said, Sergeant came and he said that um, he like to come because I have the baby with me and uh, I um, he said, well, okay, he will come. And he came and he said, well, homicide wanted more information and um, he came for, he came to ask. You know, to get the information. Oh. He asked about jury. I said, I am not a jury person. But at the same time, my granddaughter was here to pick up school clothes. So I was asking her about um about the chains, because he asked me how many chains um she had. And I had on, if I said the shit, I knew. And then I asked her, I, you know, I called her and asked her how many chains. And she said, um, Mommy, I think it's, um, Grandma, I think it's about four. And because the baby had this one and she was supposed to um, get it fixed. So she thinks it's about four. And that is what I said. I think it's about four. Right? Then um, they asked about the rings. How much rings? And she told me. She said, well, Grandma, it's a, um, three rings, two on one hand and one on one. And the one she have on one, I think, is the one her eldest sister had given her. I said, yes, and when she put it on, she never took it off. Right? So that I told them, well, three rings. Any, any and, relatives were able to confirm? Ah? Uh, take what? care, take care. Now, let me tell you, ask you something, right? I'm just telling you. Uh -huh. I'm just telling you, I'm okay. not blaming your daughter, don't get me wrong, I'm not tarnishing your daughter's name, I'm not mm -hmm. doing that, but after, I don't know, because sometime in November, she started to see a guy, right? But they, they became yeah. good friends and whatnot, good friends. Yeah, yeah. Right, she started to see a person in, sometime in November and, you know? So I yeah. don't know if that hot up certain people head. Because well, at that, that time, well, at that, that time, same. at that time. Yeah. Huh? I said, well, that same guy, well, that's the only guy that ever she ever bring home. 
Right. And she looked like she had really liked him and thing. But mm -hmm. remember, it was a, a kind of psycho thing what was going on previously. Because yeah. gunmen, I tell you, gunmen went in Glencoe, pushed you out, hot to be land, the landlord. Hot to be landlord. Yeah? Yeah. I, I tell you, that in the police station right now, that report in the police station. So they have to look back at all this. They have to look back at all that. Yeah. They have to look back at all that. They have to look back at all that. But again, we would leave no stone unturned, Donna. Thank you. All right? We will leave okay. no stone unturned. Thank you again, ma'am. Thank you. So I tell you, I'm paying attention to it. Oh, this just came up on my phone that, um, that, you know, Senate, to the group with respect to Anil Beam, the funeral be at the, um, the Wali Nagar from 9 o'clock on Thursday, the 9th of February. And um, it will be, it will stream live on 103fm.tt via 103fm, 103.1 FM uh, Facebook page. All right, so we're going to post it up also. And, you know, maybe we're going to take a feed from them and see what, you know, a lot of people on my side too would like to, you know. But let's take a fast break. When we come back, we'll continue. <laughs> Executive Architect Design Two-Story Commercial Building for Rent, two minutes from the Piaco International Airport at BWIA Boulevard, ideally suited for corporate business use, parking for 120 vehicles, three-phase electricity elevator outfitted with toilets and kitchenettes, fully approved by all statutory boards, air-conditioned and ready for immediate occupancy. Call or WhatsApp Jacqueline at Star Surge Exclusive Real Estate Company Limited, 355-7119-383-7797 or email for appointments and information. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montreux Small, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 3903196. Can't seem to find us on YouTube due to ongoing maintenance? While we upgrade your experience, you can stream us live on Facebook as well as ianallen.org. Present your business professionally by calling a websitecompany.com. We'll create a website to expand and digitize your business, sell products, receive orders, and accept payments. Convert visitors into customers. Prices start as low as $3,500. No monthly or annual fees. JS Autosound Solution for all your car audio and security needs. Specialize in best quality Android head units, 360 camera, amplifiers, subwoofers, and much more. Located at Mad Eye Imports Compound Barapur. Call today at 48892 Three. Joshua Rugello presents the Pan Man Concert, the story of Pan at Napa River Bowl, Monday 6 February. Grandstand tickets 250, North Stand 300. Pool is allowed in the North Stand. Doors open 7 pm, showtime 8 pm. Performances by Destra, Nyla Blackman, Nadia Batson, Ola Tunji, Viking Ding Dong, Trick and Alan Moore. After concert vibes with Travis World, Major Penny, and DJ Elon Puppy. Tickets available at Fitch Street Marketplace, Offside South Park, 509, Sasha Cosmetics Outlets, and online at islandetickets.com. The Pan Man Concert. The story of Pat. Marketing Company Limited and view our large stock of ready made wrought iron designs. Visit us at 44 Montrose Main Road, Chicago, or call 235 4283 Gate or 235 4766 Iron. Santana Boy, you can pick me up? Yeah, where are you? By racetrack wheels. Boy, I went inside and I lose my mind. It's the best in brand name rims and high performance tires for so. They have specials, so I make my name. Ha ha ha! you don't have a car? Patsy go kill me! Race track wheels. Number 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruka. Number 64 Southern Main Road, Chase Village. And number 82 Bethlehem Road, Tobago.
Zina. I tell everybody watching it now. Uh, I tell a dog watching your ad or two. The man of the cook. I'm not telling a dog watch. I don't call Missy watching your ad. Watch. I don't call Missy. Look, Missy watching the show and all two. Missy, look which Missy glue on. So look, Missy watching your ad and all two. You think it easy? Hey, and I want to say a special, you know, we had a great, had a great time with Professor Hubert Daisley. Happy belated, sir. And uh, we, were, we were the Hyatt on, on, on Saturday, you know, just having some fast drinks and whatnot. And, yeah, and, and um, you know, was just hanging out at the Hyatt. And so, so happy belated to Professor Hubert Daisley. And they, they sang a nice little birthday song for him. You get a little video? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Happy birthday to you. Where can we go in? Go ahead. Okay, sing happy birthday to you. Is it lighting, Professor? Okay, that's okay. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to Professor. Happy birthday. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh my God, you make me laugh, man. All the best to you, Professor. Thank you again. All right? All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you're <laughs> I love the people that you have. I'm a friend of them, you know. And after we very best took a we. we well, not just some pan and thing. Yeah, I tell you about Saturday. I had a very eventful Saturday. Yeah, I got a clip of it. I've got, I've, I've done TikTok, but. You know, I tell you something, what I have learned in my life, and I don't know about this thing, old people and age and what not, you know. I don't know about that. You learn from people who are wise. See, whoever you, you, you keep around, you, you hang out with, show me your friends, I'll tell you who you are. You'll go places with the people you hang out with. And I, I have learned so much from Professor Hubert Daisley. He's a great, amazing guy. He's super brilliant, brilliant beyond. He's brilliant beyond. That guy is, that man is brilliant beyond. Very distinguished. And I, and I tell you, I use the word distinguished man. Very distinguished man. And I'm proud to be his friend. Well, he consider him as a friend, a real partner. You know, and great guy. Let's continue. You know, robbery today, it had a robbery, day, a broad daylight at Cecilia Road to Napuna. But it's not today, it says today, but it's not really today, but last week, Thursday, but we don't know, we don't know something, these, 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 these cameras, the timing, you know, could be, you know, wrong. And um, again, we have that clip where you can't see me on Facebook, you have that, right, so keep pulling up that. And um, also, I want to say a special hello to our new advertiser, um, AGSM Marketing. So when you don't want to make money, and when you're thinking about starting in March and all kind of stupidness, these advertisers are beating you. Everybody who's here, they are beating you. They are part of the 1.4 million. They are part of the, no, last week was 1.4. It's now 1.5. You know, last week, Thursday, the 2nd of February, it was 1.4, you know, 1,494,000. You have that? Yeah, last, you know, last Thursday, the 2nd of February, it was 1.4, 944, 1,494,000. Today, Monday, the 6th of February, it is now 1,569,482. So it's growing rapidly, and that's why I tell you because we, you know, we do well. And all these advertisers like AGSM and all these people that are advertising and, and, and Harry's, Harry's Water Park, every whole world seen Harry's, Domus Windows and Doors, excellent. Uh, CTS College, yes, CTS is on board. Liqua Construction, Caribbean Hair Transplant, RMA Hardware and Superstore, Tire Clinic, everybody's seen your ad, and these people are beating it. These people are beating every other advertiser now, everybody business who are whom who might, might be in the same business they are ahead of the game because you know why they jumped on board they don't wait until you take stock and you're trying to make a video and whatnot no no you don't do that let's go to that and I, i'm looking for a certain person I, I need your help yeah i need your help please i need your help i need your help in getting this person right let's go to the the, the video where the guy wait, waiting for his son for karate lessons go ahead 
Go ahead. Normal, normal, in a normal, normal. Normal, normal. Somebody, um, also, just to let you know, Ragu is starting off his roadside food from, we from Wednesday, 3 p.m., Wednesday, Tuesday to Sunday. Wednesday from 3 p.m., Tuesday to Sunday. Yeah. His roadside food. So double R starting back his roadside food. Remember, we had a live video. So we're going to all get back that and post it back. That's why when you do live, when you do live, I always tell people, when you do a live, you're keeping the video, you know. You're keeping that and you can keep sharing. Because we can go back... You see, what, what is this man waiting for his son? Watch this now. You see, he said to blast them. Watch this now. Normal, normal. And, and like, nobody here. And they're they business. They're their business. Watch. He with the hungry self with a ski mask. A little a little, gun, a little fires. Watch. Man waiting for his son. People don't even know what's going on. Watch. People passing. People don't know. But if he ball out, that is somebody go come and take the, somebody go take the car. Look, people walking. But they can have fire shot, they can have fire shot. Leave them, leave them with the car, leave them. Leave them, leave them, leave them. A school teacher, you know. Leave them with the car. They will end up there, they will end up somewhere. Leave them. Hi, caller, good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. Play back that video for me, please. Play back that video for me, please. Yes, there are two persons here. Play back that video for me, please. Terrible, yeah, terrible, terrible. Is that gun the man have there? Dramatizing the man, boy. Yeah, dry, dry, dry. They might even know what's going on. Normal, 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 normal. Hey, you know who I, I want to say a happy birthday to? Today, I, I, I just sent it. Right? Two person, one person. That is, um, today is his birthday, Richard Sinanan. I want to say a special happy birthday to him. Right? No, no, one. Richard Sinanan. Yeah, the first one. Go ahead. How long again? Right, happy birthday to Richard Sinanan. Could you? Uh, oh, we should get a bright. They should have sent a brighter picture. Richard, happy birthday, boy. Today's your birthday. Send me a piece of cake. All right. And also, there's this particular guy I'm looking for. There's this particular guy that I'm looking for, and I need people to help me find him. I need to locate this guy. Anybody in Trinidad and Tobago could tell me where I could locate this guy, right? Yudesh, Yudesh Amani, yeah, Yudesh. This fella, Yudesh. Where we can find Yudesh? Yudesh, where can I find you? I am trying to locate Yudesh. Very, very important that I speak to him. It's very, very important that we speak to him. Very, very important that we speak to Yudesh. All right? So look at him and look at him well. You know Yudesh, right? Yudesh had a business. Many, I don't know how long, but he closed it down now, right? Um, he used to carry on this thing called, um, oh God, Amani Electrical and Plumbing Solution. Yudesh Maraj is his name, right? He used to carry on. He was, uh, yeah. So if you have any information about Yudesh and where we could locate him on a number, send it to me, please. It is very important. Let us take a fast break. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Somebody just tell me, we'll find him. We'll find him. Let's take a fast break. When we come back, we'll continue. <laughs> Welcome to Ethosel. 
Look no further, HSM has you covered. We have the widest variety of cars in TNT paired with the number one showroom vehicle experience. Whether you're looking for a brand new or roll on roll off, we have it all. Where you the customer experience in the front. Harry's Water Park, a place that brings families together. Enjoy over 47 acres of non-stop fun with more than 25 water slides. Come and experience our newest attraction, kids zip lining, fishing arena, and play park. Enjoy our paddle boats, wave pools, lazy river, natural trail, football, and volleyball. Kayaking, go-kart rides, and so much more. Located at 160 Tabaki Road, Rio Claro, call 7980049, or you can try 466-9748, or 392-4829 for more info. With almost 1,000 different configurations in our database, we can do just about any custom design for you. Take note of our clean lines, as well as our security laminate window. No one's gonna get it. Can't seem to find us on YouTube due to ongoing maintenance? While we upgrade your experience, you can stream us live on Facebook, as well as ianallen.org. Are you dissatisfied with your child's performance in primary school? Concerned about face-to-face -face classes or bullying? Enroll your child at CTS College Private Primary School. Classes are online and ideal for students entering infants to Standard 5. We focus on holistic development and critical thinking, with weekly assessments and intensive SEA preparation. Our dedicated teachers would help your child get their desired results at the SEA exam. Registration is ongoing. Visit ctscollege.com for more details. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20-ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Do you want Ian Allen live at your business and seen on television? Then book your live now and promote your business the best way you can. Get one hour of ad-free live broadcasting on television and all our platforms. Don't wait. Spots are going quickly, so book now. Call 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Army Hardware and Superstore Company Limited. We make hardware shopping a lot easier and affordable. We have everything from foundation to finish. New Wave or Alu Zinc Circular Deck and Pan, pre painted PVBF, VRC Grade 1 Red Blocks, Eco Cement, Corrugated or Smooth Steel, and so much more. Approved by the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards. Come into any of our two locations, Derek Roaches Village or Royal Road Aruka. Give us a call at 671 3001 or 692 3629 or WhatsApp 384 25304 quotations. Can't seem to find us on YouTube due to ongoing maintenance? While we upgrade your experience, you can stream us live on Facebook as well as ianallen.org. Now opened at our Montrose Shogonas branch, Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department with a faster tire changer, the largest service bank to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. So ladies and gentlemen, you all heard about the earthquake, the two powerful earthquakes that killed at least 3,000 people and left thousands injured across Turkey and northwest Syria within a 12 hour. This is so sad. Here is a video. Go ahead.
This morning, enormous devastation in Turkey and Syria. A massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake striking overnight. Terrifying video shows the moment a building starts to collapse. In Syria as well, streets flattened. People desperately digging out survivors in a country already devastated by war. Many of those affected refugees. The death toll in the thousands. Hundreds of buildings collapsed. The epicenter of the quake in the Turkish city of Karaman Maras, near the border with Syria. The most powerful earthquake to strike Turkey since 1939. But nine hours later, as rescue workers searched for survivors, a second earthquake. This one, 7.5 magnitude, 80 miles from the first. TV cameras capturing it as it brings down a building. Turkey's President Erdogan saying this is the worst disaster his country has faced since the 1939 earthquake, which killed 30,000. Rescue workers hampered by bad weather, those left homeless facing cold and in some places snow. The U.S. State Department overnight issuing a statement saying President Biden has directed U.S. aid and other federal government partners to assess U.S. response options. Dozens of other countries offering aid as frantic efforts to save lives continue. This is one of the most powerful earthquakes to strike Turkey and Syria in a century. And Syria in particular is poorly equipped to deal with the wow, aftermath. That is so Patrick Reval, yeah. Channel 7. I and, you know, in Turkey, and a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, have a lot, you have a lot of Trinidadians in Turkey. They go to for here, transplant and, medi and, and medical work and whatnot. Yeah. I was, I was supposed to go to Turkey to do my hair transplant, and when I found out about Caribbean hair transplant in Trinidad, I decided to stay in Trinidad because I didn't have that time, they had that time to go down there and stay away from a show and, you know? And then the follow-ups and whatnot, I said, you know what, let me, do, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take it at Caribbean hair transplant, and as you can see, perfect, you know? And um, also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, outpatient of the Sentence Mental Hospital has been reported missing after he was last seen on Tuesday. Alston Dutton of Bertram Street in Valencia. Dr. reportedly left his home around 11 a.m., but never informed anyone where he was going. He was last seen wearing a green T-shirt, long brown pants, a uh, plaited hairstyle. He was brought, uh, a report was made to the Arima Police Station on Saturday. However, Dunton is yet to be found. WPC Joseph was detailed to investigate the matter. Also, persons are, police are seeking the assistance of the public to locate him to the one year Nera Garib of Edinburgh Village. Shagonas was last seen on Thursday. Garib reported missing on Sunday to Shagonas Police Station. She was last seen wearing a pink grey plaid shirt, a pair of grey pants, and a black handbag. Right? And remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for, um, in fact, several, several uh, Venezuelan families were left homeless after gunmen set fire ablaze in Valencia early on Friday. 17 families among 12 children are now left without a home after a group of bandits attacked them, burned their, home, their homes down during an attempted robbery. The bandits attempted to rob them of their earrings they made from working at a farm in the area. Around 145, sorry, not earrings, sorry, earnings. Around 1.45 a.m., officers of the Arima Police Station were contacted by, by the owners of the home where the Venezuelan national resides. So, ladies and gentlemen, several Venezuelan families are now left homeless after bandits. The people work hard, people are going to rob them and burn down the house. If we could get somebody from that party to see how we could assist them and maybe get some hampers for them and some mattresses and things, so my cameraman can go tomorrow to ask to check it out and see how we could assist them. But it's real sad. Real sad. Burn down the people house, you know. Burn down everything and they rub them and burn them down, you know. The people might sit down there and say, no, God, but you jump from the pot to the fire. You know the, you know the old people have a saying, you jump from the pot to the fire, you come here for better men. You get robbed, you work, you save your money, you get robbed and they burn down your house. And now you're homeless. And you leave your good, good home. You run from your good, good home in Venezuela. I tell you, it's it easy, not just and easy. It's just not easy. Also, police are searching for three men who robbed Kim's Electronics in, in Rodney Road in Devon, Shagonas. I think they were held. Yeah, I think they were held. Yeah. This is what I, I'm hearing. Yeah, all right. 
three men who robbed Kim's. Yeah, just watch your face. Says, well, put it up. Right? Three men. Huh. Kim's Electronics along Rodney Road. Like right, right there, boy. Look, Ashford opposite, boy. But they all go by Ashford because Ashford has cameras and, you know, nobody are going by Ashford. Uh, yeah, but Ashford have security and thing. There's a security. Ashford has security upstairs watching. And guards and thing. Yeah, you feel like nobody watching. Go, you want to try that by Ashford? Ashford has tight security. But it's sad. But he ended up, you know, they were held, but with a firearm and thing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man identified as Emerson Debo assaulted a man with two big stones after he was accused of breaking into another man's home in Penal Rock Road on Sunday. Around 5.30, the victim, Rajesh Rampasad, was attacked by Emerson, who sandwiched his face with two big stones. But if you see that thing, yeah, crazy thing, you know? Crazy, crazy thing, boy. Real crazy thing. Don't post those violent things on my Facebook, yeah? You know, she can't post her own things. Yeah, but she need, to, she need to lace with you. Just call her for me, please. Call her for me, please. Right? Remember by tomorrow, we're hoping by tomorrow the, 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 the person's finished with the YouTube and our channel is up and running, but it hasn't really affected me because a lot of people know they're going to the other platforms and all the programs that you all have missed, we're going to post it up back tomorrow or by Wednesday. We're going to post it up back by tomorrow. And remember, we are still doing the live. Yeah, those of you who want to get your live, who want to do the live and uh, the live, go by your business and do live because look, Ragu's starting back. I remember... I remember when we live, went live by Ragu. Boy, Ragu, you yeah, know, nah, man. Boy. Boy, Ragu make pilori, make all kind of nice food and things. That street food is a seller, you know. I tell you, watch me. Double R, Ragu, coming out with that street food. Boy, that thing is a seller. People, even all are remanding, coming to ask me, like, I like I frying pilori, you know. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the man have it cork, boy, the man have it cork. You know, how long, how long, how long? You haven't heard that word. The man have it. Cork. Cork. A man was arrested after he was found with a gun in his vehicle while marking a businessman in St. Augustine. PC Singh and other officers from St. Joseph Police Station Crime Patrol Unit responded to a report about a heavily tinted suspicious SUV registration PDL 2221 parked at Warner Street, Freeman Road in St. Augustine. It's actually River Drive Trace, St. Augustine. You don't find a gun in the man. In the, what was your gun? A nice Glock. But you, you be bad in the top now. Well, they're market business. Hats off to the police. PC Singh. PC Singh and another officer from St. Joseph. Hats off to PC Singh. But I'm calling on the police and, and, and do a little more with the gangs in Bangladesh. Yeah? Do a little more. Yeah, but we know who do it. And we know who do it. Like Fat Man and them. Fats and them. Yeah. The gangs in Bangladesh. It's fast to TV people washing machine and thing. So you have to call officer oil to go back to them. The people washing machine with fats and them take. That is fats and them. If I'm Bangladesh, so you have to get oil to go back, you know, policeman oil, they call him oil. He's from the bamboo originally. Well, yeah, but look, fat him take the washing machine. Fat send him from Bangladesh. Last time the TV people doors, I got back every single door, you know. Well, the owner of the door said they'll check me and you know. Up to this day, we never, we never heard from them again. They are the, the, the thief for the construction material, everything. They are pests in Bangladesh. Pests, 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 pests in Bangladesh. And somebody shoot up their house. Somebody went and shoot up their house and they real bad thing with them. And I don't know how police are loving fats and all of them to, to, to distress Bangladesh like that. They 
And Mikey and all them, they're just distressing Bangladesh, distressing them, distress. People can't walk the road because of them fellas and them you know, in Bangladesh, you know. The fearful them you know, have fires, normal, normal. You swear them by the you swear them got any prime minister like diplomatic center, the president house, you know. Them walking up on the road with guns so. Yeah. You know, if you pass by the president house or the diplomatic center, you see heavily armed officers outside and you know it's just it's normal. But boy, them men and them hotting up Bangladesh, hotting it up. But I will tell you something, you know. I will tell you something. I will speak to, to ACP Meister. And you know we good. You know my son, I good. I just let you know, we know we good. I was I I will speak to ACP Meister. And you gotta deal with that about that gang in Bangladesh. I feel like I gotta give all your stink run, a stink run. We gotta give all your stink run. And the police doing nothing in St. Joseph about it. They're just letting fats and them do what they have to do. They're letting fats and them do what they have to do, boy. Distressing people in Bangladesh, boy. Shooting at people and all kind of thing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man was arrested after he was found with a gun. You know, I know you know that. A bandit drove off with a man car after he offered to check it out for him in Piak on Saturday. The incident occurred around 10 p.m. near the Ikata, served along Golden Grove Road. And to the one year Q-Rep man stopped his car the side of the highway to investigate the noise that was coming from the front, front right side of the white Toyota Corolla station wagon. You know a man called the, uh, the suspect approaching Victor of Stella to confirm where the song was coming from. Let me show how terrible it is in this country. You come out now, you hear that noise, you pull over. A man stop. Hey, what noise is that you hearing there, boy? Who is that? Let me check it out. Press the X there, Ma mash the X. Hand me the key there, mash the X. He jumping, the man can't go on with it, you know? But he, you know, what you want the man the key for? Yeah, but how the man know to come at that exact moment? How the man know to come at that exact moment when he stopped? Because I know something when people are paying for a car or they are car fully comprehensive and insured and, and or some kind of thing. I know a man went to pee. And while he peeing, a man come and take Ivan just so. But just so you stop to pee at a particular spot and just so at, a, at that particular spot, bandit come? Nah, that is racketing. And what you do here, the short is racketing. But me and nobody queue up, man, that have more in it. Because you can't tell me you stop to hear a noise. At that exact point, you stop to hear a noise. You stop and you hear a noise. And at that exact time, a man come out and take your key and go? What about if the man in the GPS in the car? <laughs> when everybody looking west, I looking east. Believe me. I'm out of time. 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 It's been a, a, a great night. I'm going to be back tomorrow. There are things... We still have to run, we still have to talk a little more about Anil, the late Anil Beam and take some calls and whatnot. Remember, Mondays are very hard to entertain call, calls and whatnot because, you know, I have to give you all the, you know, all the happenings. May really give you all the happenings as yet. Remember, advertisers, those of you, everybody beating your teeth because you're holding back. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Make sure and jump in the dance. Jump in the dance and say, Ian, I want my ads start to run from today. I want my ads start to run from tomorrow. I want to send my ads. I want you come and do a live. I want you hot it up. You have to hot it up. Always remember, I have learned that. Sometimes you need to hot up the place. Just hot it up. Somebody I was telling you, I say it's like building a house. Anytime you stop and you're doing nothing, everything is just go... Pfft. Quiet down. Everything is quiet down. Everything is quiet down. Everything is quiet down. But when you jump up and you start to do this, pain, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this put something there, put something there, you create a whole environment. Take what I tell you. This is Ian Allen, this is Crime Watch. I'll be back tomorrow, have a wonderful night. What's up? May follow know these people and them, yeah? That, that, um, that fella, this, this boy we're looking for. Yudesh. We need to find Yudesh. I know you need Socorro. Tomorrow we're going to run some more pictures about him. Right? Tomorrow we're going to run some more pictures about him. And um, I think I'll get some pictures where you live in and thing already. All right? And behind us, look, oil. Oil, oil, look, oil, oil, already text me, man. Oil and text me. Send me the information with the, with the, with the, with the um, that washing machine and the time and the date and everything. Okay? 
because the police in St. Joseph already contacted me. Oil at a oil, how are you going? Oil is a real hard working policeman, and you know that? Oil is a real hard working. Yeah. All I think what he was washing machine went was stolen and whatnot, and then that video sent it to me. This is Ian Allen, this is crime. What's everybody watching? I still can't believe, boy, millions, boy. That's what I tell you. All the calls and you watch YouTube and YouTube done is like, we have different platforms, you have different platforms, you have different platforms. So have a wonderful night, you have a wonderful night. You find I look small here. Yeah. I'm working out for the carnival. So when I jump out, yeah, we'll go, what? How do you mind? I forget this song I know to us. No, 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 relax yourself with that. Goodbye. Yeah, it's a jungle.